you is the anointing, is the Holy Spirit Himself. Hallelujah. That is living and reigning in your life. Why? Because you surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Our duty is to submit to Jesus Christ. And when you submit everything, totally submit, that's when the Holy Spirit comes in and take control. Hallelujah. So we have some names to go through because that names has a duty. There's a calling in those names. That's why they call it that name. They don't just call it a helper for nothing. Hallelujah. So we will go through the names that stand out and I want to share with us today. And I believe after the lesson tonight, you know the benefits. Then you'll start to really understand the Holy Spirit and what's doing and his duty. The reason why he's here. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. That means your sickness, your burden, whatever is in front of you yesterday or today. When you know the benefits of the Holy Spirit, all the burden that we have will start to become very light. Because the person that is coming to help you is above and beyond. There is nothing that can measure the strength, the power is only in everything. Number one, the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. The hallow Nicolau. In the beginning, okay, can we just go back to this a diagram? I, I, I just need to go to the diagram that, hallelujah, that talks about uh, the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. There's a three circle before we go into, I think it's uh, uh, after Genesis 1, 26. If we can move uh, along, hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, before, before B, or, or it's a lesson B, hallelujah. We'll just go there. Um, lesson B, if you go to lesson B, second page, hallelujah. Another one, uh, oh, go back. Genesis uh, B, and we will go to Genesis 1, 26. Hallelujah. The, the, the very next page. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Uh, this is lesson one. We go back to lesson two. Hallelujah. We just want to uh, share with you God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This one here. The Father is not the Son. And the Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Father. They stand alone somehow. Nobody can explain. Hallelujah. But God the Father is God. God the Son is God. The Holy Spirit is God. Hallelujah. But the Son is not the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is not the Father. And the Father is not the Son. They operate individually, but they are one. When we talk about the Godhead, we are talking about one God. We are talking about one God. But in that one God, they operate differently. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. All these things we can only know through the Holy Spirit. And when we finish from here. Then we will understand. They operate differently. In Mark chapter 1. It was clearly indicated. When Jesus. Was baptized. And the Bible says. When he. Was baptized. Then. The Holy Spirit comes. And land on him. Then the voice of the Father spoke from heaven. At this scenario in Mark chapter 1, God the Son was in the water. God the Holy Spirit come as a dove. And God the Father spoke from heaven. This is my beloved Son, of whom that I am well pleased. 